Thanks, Matt. So this week in movies, not only are we discussing the latest releases, but we're also talking about how theaters are changing the movie-going experience, and sometimes not always for the better. Here with his take is our film critic, Rad. Hey, Rad, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thanks. I'm good. I'm, I'm excited to talk to you about this topic. I'm a big new movie nerd. I go to the theater about once a week ever since I was 18. Yeah. You see a ton of movies for your work and for pleasure. So for you, how has that experience changed over the years? Yeah, look, I mean, it's gotten much, much worse in terms of theater going right like I actually find myself lately like being aggravated that I have to drag myself out of the home to watch a movie in a theater now I'm not talking about like the independent theaters I'm talking about yeah. the big chain multiplexes okay I get when I know that I have to go see a movie at a certain screen like that like and, and this is not the position I want to be in as a film critic right <laughs> I, I celebrate the idea of going to the movies but the problem is that projection has just gotten so bad that yeah. when you go to the movie theater the movie is so dark sometimes I, like if it's a nighttime scene or a bedroom scene I'm struggling to see what's going on yeah and I'm realizing that this like this the these movies look just so much better on my 14-year-old LCD wow. at home, yeah. right? Uh, so, that, so that's why now it's getting, it's get, it's becoming an upsetting experience in that way. I noticed it too a little bit. I was telling you before we started uh, doing this that I went to see All Quiet on the Western Front. A little bit of the top of the frame was cut off mm -hmm. and everything. So it, wh why do you think it's changed and gotten worse? Like, what's going on? I mean, like, you know, one of it, it starts with they got rid of projectionists who know how to project movies. And yeah. now you just have young theater staff who are, you know, who just like, you know, like they flip on a button and they're not really checking in your situation you mentioned that the, the yeah. it's improper masking it's not yeah. framed properly my bigger problem is some, well, one well, one big problem is when they introduce 3d Right. First of all, you should never pay for 3D. 3D is just, they just tack it on. It's a way to upcharge you. Right. And then what they do is they darken the screen because the 3D filter that they use darkens the screen. Right. And so what yeah. happens is yeah. a lot of times you're going to see a movie in 2D, so you'd like the right experience, but they leave the 3D filter on the projection and that dull dulls the screen. I didn't know that. Yeah, that happens oh, all the time, right? So, so not only is 3D a bad experience, they're also ruining the 2D experience. Uh -huh. um, and on top of that, you know, they don't change light bulbs. In these projectors, <laughs> they're not right. like you know, like you'll, you'll find that like these light bulbs are just sitting there. You know, they, they have these lamps that they have to kind of replace r frequently, right. and the light bulbs are not being changed. So this kind of upkeep and maintenance is not happening, especially because these multiplexes they're so much more invested in their arcades right. and their and their food service. They consider themselves like restaurants, not like a, a cinema house where yeah, you cherish yeah. the visual experience. And that's what's so that's what's making it like you know you got these filmmakers like Spielberg and stuff who really put all their effort into yeah. making beautiful images and it's just dulled. Yeah, don't even get me started about high frame rate and the soap oh. opera effect either. But uh, just quickly then, what are the superior options? Like, what options do we have? I mean, like, you know, first of all, if you seek out, like, your kind of independent theaters, like the, like the Tiff Bell Lightbox here in Toronto or even the Review Cinema, these rep houses, you'll yeah. find people who respect and cherish the cinema-going experience. So they're checking yeah. the light bulbs and making sure they got the best projection going on and all the masking. Otherwise, IMAX. You know, there is a reason why Christopher Nolan is like, you got to see my movie in IMAX. Yes. It's not just because he's shooting it big. Yeah. It's because he knows how bad projection is everywhere else. And the only way you'll see it in a good way yeah. is if you see it in IMAX. So IMAX is laser projection. Yes. Yeah. And that is a superior image. And, you know, down the road, we're going to get this rollout of new laser projectors yeah. in every theater. But that's going to be like five to ten years. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait for Oppenheimer, though. No Oppenheimer? Like, oh, see, oh. He's making a drama, a biopic in IMAX, basically, to, because like, you don't want to projected in the other theaters. Yeah. He's incredible. Okay, I know you got uh, time for uh, one of your movie picks this week. Uh, Clement Virgo, right? Clement Virgo's brother. I mean, you know Clement Virgo, Tor Toronto icon filmmaker, yep. and he made this movie Brother, which is kind of like... Toronto's Boys in the Hood meets okay. Moonlight. You know, yeah. it's about two brothers who are growing up in a really difficult environment, but it's about their the love they have for each other. It's about their resilience. And of course, this movie hits close to home for me because it's set in Scarborough, where yeah. I grew up representing Scarborough. Nice. And, and also because Clement, as a filmmaker, you want to talk about filmmakers who pour love and affection onto the screen and these beautiful images. He makes beautiful images. This is a sexy looking movie yeah. that needs to be seen on the best screen you can find it on. Amazing. And so you loved it, right? Yeah, I did. I absolutely awesome. did. Let's see that Scarborough shirt this is again. Scarborough. We're, represent we're finally getting our own movie. So this is a moment for us. Awesome. I can't wait to see it. And your fellow critics agree. I think it's sitting around 93% right now on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And nominated yeah. for Best Canadian uh, Picture at the Canadian Screen Awards. Awesome. And yeah. Great so. Canadian filmmaker, and you're a great Canadian critic. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.